Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about RTE events. Already we have discussed about RTE events as two parts. So every part I am covering four RTE events. I have mentioned those videos in the description. Please watch it. What is RTE event? RTE event are defined inside the software component internal behavior of an atomic software component. They are used to activate the runnable entity or to unblock a wait point inside a runnable entity. And the RTE event mainly used to activate a runnable entity whenever the particular event occurs. So this is the way you have to do the event configuration. But inside the event configuration, you can have a multiple events. For an example, operation invoked event, timing event, mode switch event. You can configure whatever the event you want and based on your requirement. This is the table. It shows about the all RT events which will be supported in the AutoSAR. Whatever I have marked here, in this video, we are going to discuss about these four RT events. Software Common Mode Switch Event, Mode Switch Acknowledgement Event, and Software Common Mode Manager Error Event, External Trigger Occurred Event. In this slide, you will come to know and you will get details about how we can handle the events. For an example, whether the particular event has a wait point or not, and the particular event has to be mapped with any task or not, all this information you will get it from this slide. For an example, here I have mentioned as comment as task mapping needed, meaning the corresponding runnable entity is mapped to the task of the RT event. Wherever I have mentioned as a direct call, it means the corresponding runnable entity may be directly invoked by the initiating runnable entity and is running in the same task of the caller. Wherever I have mentioned as a WP, it's called as wait point. So these RT events can be used to unblock wait points. The corresponding wait point contains a reference to the RT event. And one RT event can be used to trigger several wait points in different runnable entities. So from this slide, you will come to know more detailed about whether the particular event may have to be task or not, whether it can have a wait point or not. All this information you will get it from this slide. Now we'll start to discuss about what all are the events we can discuss in this part. Especially in the mode communication, we have a three events. One is software component mode switch event. Another one is software component mode manage error, error event. Third one is mode switch acknowledgement event. Now we can discuss our one by one. Mode switch event. What is mode switch event? For an example, whenever the mode switch is happening, what is mode basically? Mode is, for an example, you can consider your software component has initial phase and running and stopped phase. So in that case, whenever you want to switch between one mode to another mode, in that case, exactly we need the mode switch event. So the mode switch event will activate a runnable entity on either entry or exit or in transition from an application mode. So basically the mode switch event has three activation rules. One is in entry, exit and transition. And AutoSAR also permits mode switch events to be triggered on the transition between two application modes. So the configuration of such an RT event refer to one or two modes that trigger the event and one activation attribute to define whether the event activated on entering or exiting configured modes. And very important point is the runnable entity that has a wait point cannot be referenced by a mode switch event. Might be this is also one of the important interview question. So you can note this. And all runnable entities that are triggered by entering an initial mode are activated immediately after the initialization of the RTE. So basically what you have to keep in your mind is for considering a mode switch event, you have a three options. One is an entry, exit and transition. So based on your application, you have to configure your event. AutoSAR requires that all runnables triggered by mode switch event for the same mode instance must be mapped to the same task. This is you have to ensure when you are doing the event to task mapping. I have a plan to discuss this more deeper when we are going to discuss about the event to task mapping uh, topic. And if you want to understand about more details about mode switch event, then already I discussed in the mode switch interface topic. You can watch it in our AutoSAR playlist. The runnables must be positioned within the task such that all on exit runnables are occur first followed by all on transition runnable and finally all on exit runnables. If something happens like wrongly by configuring yourself then RT definitely will throw the error. Now we will see how we can do the configuration for mode switch event. 
So here I have taken example of application software component. I, I have mentioned, I have named it as software component mode switch. I have created the R port and it has a required com spec. And inside the internal behavior, I have mentioned about the event. Here I have taken an activation method called on entry, meaning whenever we are entering into this mode, then this particular runnable will get triggered. So here, whatever the things we need it is, one is which runnable we want to trigger. And second one is what is the port name. Then very important thing is mode declaration group prototype. So this mode declaration group prototype has the information about how many modes we have. As I mentioned earlier, if you have a three modes for your software component, one is initialization and running and third one is stop. So in that case, then the mode declaration group prototype has a macro of all these three and you have to keep a number or you have to say about initial is zero and running is one and uh, stop this two. And you have to mention in the mode declaration group prototype as well, what is your default mode details as well. So here in the mode switch event configuration, the very important thing is the activation mode, entry, exit or transition and mode declaration group prototype. Since I'm dealing and discussing only about how we can deal with the mode switch event, I'm not focusing on how the mode declaration group prototype will be configured. But in the mode switch interface, when we discussed under the interface, I have covered all the topics. And in the runnable entity, here I have created one runnable. It's called RE mode switch user. And here I have a mode access points. For an example, mode switch user. And we have a R port and mode declaration group prototype as well. And if you have done such a configuration, then how the C code. So whenever you are going to write a C code via reading via RT, then how it will looks like. So for an example, in the mode switch user, because our simple name is mode switch user. So you all know that we have to write a function definition in the same name which we mentioned as a symbol. So here in the mode switch user, we are reading the current mode by using the function RTE function API called RT underscore mode. RT underscore mode and your port name, then your mode declaration group prototype name. So this is the way RTE will create a API. Then via this, it will return a value of current mode. So this is the way you will come to know about whether your software component or particular function which in which mode you are in. For an example, in your software component is in running, then via this API call, you will come to know your software component or your particular function whenever it's called that time your software component is in particular mode. So this is the way mode switch, config, mode switch event should get configured. Mode switch acknowledgement event. So whenever you are want to communicate between two entities, always we will expect acknowledgement. The same for here, mode switch acknowledgement event. So this will activate a runnable when a mode switch transition is complete. So at the same time, mode switch acknowledgement event is triggered by a mode switch point as a result of either successful mode switch or an error during mode switch. For an example, whenever we want to make a communication between two entities, you can take example like you want to communicate from server to client. So in that case, whenever the server is sending a data, the server will expect, expect the acknowledgement at the same, whether it is a positive or whether it's successful or it's a failure, in that case, we'll ex expect the acknowledgement, right? The same case here as well. An RTE event can be used to invoke a runnable entity or to unblock a wait point of a runnable entity. This is part of mode switch acknowledgement event. And here I have done a small configuration for how we can configure the mode switch acknowledgement event. For an example, the same like here, I have created the application software component type. Then I have a P port and here internal behavior. Main important thing is mode switched acknowledgement event. In the mode switch acknowledgement event, here two things are very important. One is runnable entity and mode switch point. Hope you can remember now in the software component mode switch event, in that time we have configured here as a mode group declaration prototype. But here mode switch point is important and here i have created the runnable entity like re underscore mode manager and this re underscore mode manager and here i have a mode switch point this is a runnable entity and at the same time here i have another runnable entity called mode switch complete in the mode switch complete i have a mode access point and here i have mentioned the mode declaration group prototype but i have another runnable entity which has the mode switch point and here the symbol is mode manager and here the C code configuration, meaning 
based on your autosor configuration you have to write a c code in such a way so in the mode manager runnable entity we are switching the mode at the same time in the mode switch complete that means in that case we are reading the rt underscore mode so this is the way you have to write a c function at the same time you have to do the configuration of mode switch acknowledgement event so whenever you are because the definition itself is saying about the mode switch acknowledgement event is triggered by a mode switch point as a result of either successful mode switch or an error during mode switch that's what we have configured here we have configured here about the mode switch points but this is the way you have to write a c function and for an example if you are integrating something then if you want to understand about what is exactly happening in the backside then this topic will helpful for you then next one is software component mode manager error event this particularly represents the ability to react on errors occur during a mode handling for an example whenever the mode handling is happening when there is a problem then to indicate that we have a software component mode manager error event so the runnable entity is triggered by the rte to react on errors occur during mode handling and mode manager reacts on mode error because we, we really want to understand why or when we need to use the software component mode manager error event right so the mode manager is getting out of sync with the mode user because the partition of the mode user has been terminated or vice versa for example partition of the mode manager has been terminated it shall be possible for the mode manager to react on such an event and for this purpose we need a software component mode manager error event so here if for an example the trigger the execution of runnable entity in response to an error with respect to mode switch communication but this is very rarely used but it's based on your requirement and your application whether you want to select to have a software component mode manager error event or not that's based on your requirement you can select it now external trigger occurred event the external triggered occurred event means it will activate a runnable within the software component by an external entity without passing data so meaning you no need to pass any data to activate this runnable and at the same time the external trigger occurred event is raised when the reference trigger of a trigger interface has occurred and the triggering runnable entity meaning the sender needs to define the external triggering point so whenever you are going to configure external trigger occurred event then some points you have to keep in your mind so by seeing this you will come to know for an example you should know about the trigger at the same time you should know about the external trigger occurred event and external triggering point as well for an example here i have a two two ports one is p port pp trigger one and r port rp trigger one so here i have referred with the same interface trigger interface and one interface can have a multiple trigger as well so my software component name is software component external trigger and i have configured the external triggered occurred event inside the internal behavior so here i have to mention the r port and trigger name so my trigger name here is if trigger that means interface trigger one and my runnable entity is rt trigger in at the same time to explain more detail and you have to clearly understand that purpose i have created the external triggered occurred event and timing event as well and this timing event will be configured for 0.2 seconds so this every periodically will get triggered so you see if you will see here i have a runnable entity rte trigger in and my symbol name is trigger in and this is a rte trigger out inside the trigger out i have configured the external triggering points for the external trigger points i have to mention which port name and which trigger so my symbol name here is trigger out because if you will see this configuration properly then you can easily understand about func c function definitions for an example this is a c code implementation rte trigger in and rte trigger out so here we have a generated api rt will generate api for invoking the external trigger so this is the way you can achieve an external trigger occurred event thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content then please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day